So next we got a little change of pace. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna react to one of these NBA players homes. I'm an architect, I'm a real life architect. People don't know that. I'm a real life architect, I practice at a firm. What's up AD? Oh that's Welcome Devin to Booker. The I'm Devin, Devin Booker. Booker. This is Haven. Come check out the house. Come on Haven. Bro, this is dope. Ooh, that sounds like nice. Ooh, the cars are on. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, the pico hot. Pico, pico. Ooh, in the sneaker closet too? Bro, hold on. Hey, ooh, with the this pool? This is the great room. I had a wonderful okay. team help me on this. Okay. Clement's Open concept. Design team nice. Help me bring this vision ooh, to life. Ooh, the granite? The mountains coming in right from oh my outside. Gosh. So you get beautiful views. So much and natural this light. This coffee table took a lot to get in. Oh, it's a big, heavy yeah, piece of granite. Yeah, it looks slab, like it looks so like real it was block. a process getting in here. Fireplaces get used more than you would think in Arizona. You know, Devin the, Booker, the I didn't know cold, he was doing it like so, this. He played for the Suns. And I'm from Michigan cold. originally, so I grew up around a fire. So yeah, I keep the fire on. Come to the living fire. room. These beats always get me. Huh? These beats always get me. I'm so hungry I could eat some spaghetti. Yeah, I'm going in like a steady. If I'm yeah. having a team over, I'm having an event at the house. This is usually where we tend to watch any type of game. You know, my team's big. Everybody's usually over 6'5 at least, so this couch fills up pretty quick. The whole entire space I wanted to be inviting, I wanted to be comforting, and I wanted Bro, to be Bro, so grounded. much like it's architecturally texture. a modern I love it. house, and I didn't want to just yeah. throw modern furniture. Ooh, look at that wall in the back. Feel collected, feel With like pieces came together, some materials came together. So when I get home, I, I like to just is. lounge, lay down, and just kick it. Hey, 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 uh, do my little dance like I'm doodle When I have the team uh, over, this bad boy right here gets used the most. We play hey, this little game called Blu-ray oh. on all of our flights. So sometimes after the flight's over, the Sorry. game carries over to here. But you can also play Uno here. We play. Ah. Dustin built this table to my liking. Put these nice suede chairs next to it. That, bro, suede you know, chairs, bro. Nice... My man's got suede chairs. That's diff diff, bro. Man's got Feeling suede chairs. Too. I think the bar yeah. next. Who you know got suede chairs? That's wild. That's my trick. I give my teammates a couple of drinks and get them going, give them some confidence. A lot of tequila in here. Tequila. I had to give me tequila. <laughs> yeah. So here's the kitchen. I don't do too much cooking. Shout out to my chef, Ryan, for prepares <laughs> unbelievable meals for us all the time. Hey, you know, I talk nice, about bro. having the team over a lot. You know, that was kind of my mindset around this house is, you know, make a place that's inviting and have areas where you yeah, can, you know, talk and chill with each rooms. other. And this is one of the areas where, you know, that tends to happen. And, you know, that's it's very beautiful. spacious, two islands in here. Wow, the marble, he has a dark marble wood too. Very cohesive. I love how they hit off of each other. And some fresh mm. pick limes. See the, the way the marble wraps too on that countertop. Ooh. Now we're headed to the dining room, and this is where dinner is served. This is actually my, my seat right so here. Modern. You know, I have my family over a lot, I have my friends over a lot, and if I like to do dinner, you know, as a collective group, I like to sit like down, I don't want to be all over the house, so we keep it in one spot. Too. And these chairs are unbelievable. They have a mid-century vibe. Same with the chandelier, both mid-century. It's a beautiful hint yeah, to what I like. That's nice. As you can see, the wine cellar right off to the right. Damn. I'm all over with the wine, to be completely honest. You know, I took a couple wine trips and dine. to Napa Valley. That's where I started. And now I'm just exploring. You know, I have a lot of friends that are it's into wine, so they put me on to new things. And, you know, I like the process. Like I said earlier, it's about conversation. And, and have some it's about drive. It's about power. Good wine bottles. And Stay last, strong. but we obviously buy. not least, oh, this is the James Terrell. Probably my favorite piece James in the Terrell? house. And if you stare at it. Hold on. James Terrell? Whoa, whoa, incredible installation artist. I can't believe Jay Sorrell has a piece in his home. Been long enough, it starts to look like a floating box. Come on, bro. Done for the day, Haven? Dang. <laughs> you got a big dog. Roof, roof, big dog. Roof, roof, roof. Huh? Shot the lot cost. Huh? Yeah. On to the office. Oh this is where God. the deals get done. Now, funny thing about this office, this used to be my gaming room. So, you know, <laughs> it, it took a lot for me to grow up in transform this into a proper yeah, office I mean, but i'm glad i did it ooh, we started this room suit. with this couch ooh. it's like a vintage italian leather couch and we built around it obviously you see the strange shaped desk here piece of art yeah. hanging it's and just nice the materials like we too. talked about earlier you know it feels warm there's a cozy lot of and, contrast you know, part of materiality material, but in i there. did love my gaming setup in here we got the sage the camcorder okay, okay. 
scissors. What you gonna do with the scissors? Bro, it's sneakers. This is my bedroom. You know, it's keeping it textures, keeping it warm, keeping it grounded. You know, I like to clear Classic. my head here, especially when it's time after a long day just to rest and, and ease up a little bit. Obviously, a big staple of this room was the bed. I've never had a bed this big okay. in my life, but I got bed, it custom bed. made. And I don't do much in here but sleep. Hey, ooh, hey, you got the chucks. This is my closet. The beat this up is my lines. sneaker collection. A lot of people Fresh. always ask low me, how do I too? go about collecting? I used to be a lot bigger sneakerhead than I am now, to be completely honest. I used to wait on release dates. I remember as a kid, saving a lot of money up to get Bruh. any shoe that released yeah, at the, the time. Dunk, but the, the, now the, I get too like many. Dunks. And, I don't know, you know, the process for me is putting them in storage. So hey, try to keep it at breeze, this amount. Right. Yeah, if you can see these ones right. up top, the white and blue ones, these are some 1985 custom Jordan ones, which are like an art piece to me. That's how I feel about shoes. Here's a another one right here from 1985. I never wear them. You know, they look used and beat down, but gives it a lot of character for me. You know, I don't switch it up very much, as you know, a lot of people know in the sneaker world. Converse is probably my favorite shoe. Queen, Queen, with the car collection, bro, that, like, brown, bro? I don't even know what color that is, but I love those browns on cars. They so nice. Pontiac, what is Here that? we are in the garage. Shepard. I'm a classic car Ooh. collector. I think it's a family tradition for me that, you know, I've take, took on and honed Shepard in on. Like. These two right here, I know they look very similar, which my mom doesn't understand, but this is my daily Grand National that I drive day to day, and this is a GNX version. They did only, I think, 547 of these things. Dang, so I don't drive fire. it much, but it looks good sitting here. People always yeah. ask me what's my, my favorite, and it's like picking your favorite child, you just don't do that. But I'll take <laughs> you all the way here to the end to show you my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> This right here is Pretty Penny. This is what I drove the bro, game one of the finals. Nice, this is a 59 bro. Impala ragtop. All the original. You're doing it so big, dog. 59, and this is what introduced me to collecting cars. This is my first piece. I got this two years ago now. I found That's it in so Utah. Low to the ground. And, you know, me and my if friends, you hit a pothole, bro, you're the done. Stories on these cars. And you're done. Don't bring this to Indiana, boy. Is. My grandpa, I remember going to his house growing up. He'd be underneath this car every time I got there, and you can't get I never got that privilege to spend time <laughs> with him in the garage. But he loves that I'm collecting, and hopefully one day I get a warehouse and even expand even further. I usually a keep warehouse. it Chevy. You know, I have a lot of Impalas. This is a '59. Chevy I have a, on me. The '96 is right here. The black cherry one. But this is about the house. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. Oh, well, this fire is the backyard. Time. This is the pool. Not much of a backyard, but I actually right, use this much. pool very right. often, whether it's for recovery or for entertainment. You know, I like how it's set up. You know, it's courtyard Dang, style, and the, uh, I feel like every section is kind of facing clean. towards the pool. So, you know, we have a good time out here. Our projector screen, wow. it comes down right over that box over there, and you can watch it from the pool. You can watch it from the hot tub. You can even see it from Man, inside lives in the, the building. house. So, it's not you know, it takes up building. the whole backyard once it gets dark. It, lights up pretty well. Now you come into the game house. Ooh, we got the keyboard. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, we got candy too. This area used to be a proper guest house with a kitchen and two bedrooms. And we came here, we just blew it all up. We just wanted to make it an inviting, comfortable space. You know, this serves many purpose for us. It's a theater, it's a studio. We play loud music back here. Ooh. And really, we just chill. This is the hangout. Hey, and even though this is a big hard. couch, you'd be surprised how quick it can fill up with a couple seven yeah. footers on it. I'm actually six, not eight. that crazy <laughs> of a candy eater, but when it's sitting in front of you just like this every single day, I, I dibble and dabble. I'm not gonna dibble lie. And dabble. This is the pool hall. You know, if you can tell, I got repping my college with the big blue nation Kentucky pool balls. I mean, I have a competitive team, and we like activities, and we like to gamble a little bit here and there. So between right. the poker table, right. this pool table, the video games we play on the screen in there, we have activities to do. Huge so screen. we keep it interesting. We switch it up around here. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, crib nice. 
nice, nice. Hold up, hold up. Let me get some ice with that ice, ice. Yeah, hold up. Check my hair. No lice, lice. What you mean, butter, butter? All right, AD. It's been real. I appreciate you guys visiting me. I appreciate I you, you coming digest. out to the desert. Uh, I have a poker game to get to. Bro, they in Arizona. I know it's hot, boy. Up, boy. That's hard. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Ooh, it's looping. It's looping. Okay. This is Haven. Yeah, I'd say this house was nice, man. This house was nice. I really love the the car collection. I'm not too big into cars, but I, I do think it's interesting. It's so expensive, but it's something special when you pull up in a garage and you see these old cars just lined up. I think a lot of people just do that just to do it. But uh, but man, I I think this house was cool. But it wasn't like for me. I'm it didn't do all that because I don't know why. But modern homes don't feel like homes to me all the time. They just feel like buildings. Honestly, they feel like hotels. They feel like villas. Um, and of course, I love at this home. I love the wood that he had. I love the marbles that he had. I love just the different amenities that he had. So many TVs, so many couches, and the contrast and materials that he had with the um, with the furs and the suede and the leathers that he had. I think that was beautiful. But but still, man, I don't know if I would personally live in that. I don't know. You guys, let me know if you would live in that house. Uh, I mean, if that was given to me for free, most definitely. But if I had a choice, preference, I. This would not be my preference. But let me know below what you guys think. 